Hi guys, hope you all have a fantastic day. Today we need to fix some rust on Niva and when I say some, I really mean it. <laughs> if you own the Lada, you will know there are always rust, but you can have it with more or less. I think I bought this Niva with less rust, but it still have a lot of stuff to do. Let me show you. So, if we comb this on this side, on every Niva, it started to rust here and we need to cut this off and weld it a new healthy piece and we need to fix all this we need to grind it to the bare metal and something like this i use anti-corrosion that's a chemical that remove rust so that i'm i'm trying to do this the best way i can and we are gonna paint everything here in the wheel arches and I put anti-corrosion here, so that remove all the surface rust that it had. And we need to do everything from underneath. But that is when we paint all this black. When we paint this, I'm gonna paint it black until here. So this is gonna have a nice, nice new surface. And I really don't know what to expect here. This is probably the nastiest rust on the car and I really know, don't know what to expect. But when we are starting riding, I'm gonna see what is going to be. Well guys, as you can see, there is a lot of work, but nothing that we can handle it. So let's get it done so that I make, it, make so that I can make this car road legal and can wait to get it some trips. Oh, it's been a long, long time since I off-road and I want to do it again. But this Niva, we are gonna keep it in stock. I'm just gonna put the winch here on the front bumper, just in case I stuck in something, but we are not gonna do lift kits, nothing like that. We are gonna keep it stock because it, I think it's just such a nice piece and we are gonna make this off-road beast <laughs> but there's a lot lot more work till that but then I have stock Niva off-road Niva and I think that's a pretty good match so that's it now let's start working and hopefully it's gonna be easy but I don't know we're gonna see Whew. First, let's repair that rust hole and then we are gonna come on everything else. Let's go! Okay, this is gonna be a bigger jug than I expected. So, this is all rusted. So, I'm gonna try to cut here and remove this bad part but it's my first time doing bodywork so hmm, we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out but i hope it's gonna look okay and now ooh, now it's gonna start starting to get a little scary hopefully i can do it well we're gonna find out well guys, more bad news. <laughs> that little rust hole I was talking about turns out is not that little. Let me show you. I was playing a little bit and I just tear this down with my bare hands. So we are gonna need to cut this. I'm really not worried about this one anymore. First we need to Whew. We need to replace all this, we need to bend it. Well, this is just on the edge of my capabilities, but we're gonna try it. At the end, if I, did, if I don't succeed, I'm gonna turn it to the professionals, because this is, this is a little bit out of my reach, but we're gonna try to do it. And we're gonna see how it's going to look.
guys. I know this is not the best, but for first time, I think it's gonna pass. So, this should go like this. It's so hard to do it with one hand. So now, we need to cut this and weld this new. I think it actually looks decent. It's gonna, we need to cut it this, but let's start cutting this out then. We are gonna know how to cut this. Whew. Well guys, let's see. Sorry guys, my camera shut off. But we cut this. We're gonna try to fix this rust that we can see. And then try to fit a new piece in. And hopefully the camera doesn't stop working again. I think we are ready. We are gonna paint the back side so it doesn't rust. We are gonna paint this and then we are gonna try to weld it together. But I'm not gonna show you how I paint this and that because it's just gonna make a longer video. We are, I'm just gonna paint this off the camera and then we are gonna weld it. I finished this corner and for the first time I think it looks good but there's a lot lot room for improvement but for the first time I think it's all right now we just need to paint it but that's a little bit later now we need to fix this and I cut the piece of the fender from the donor Niva so this is just gonna fit like a glove but we need to cut this out, cut this to measure and weld again. So guys, it's a little bit more work than I thought. So I'm just gonna show you this and that side of the car. The other side I'm gonna do it off the camera because it's a lot, lot work and you don't need to see everything. It's gonna be a way too long video, but I'm gonna show you how I painted the car and the end result of course that's that's why we are here so let's cut this out and continue working Well guys, I'm done and I think I did a much better job. This looks very good, I'm happy with that. And from the far, even this looks good. So when I paint, I think it's gonna look very nice. So now we need to jump on the rear and start working. I'm really scary of this. Hopefully it's not too much drama, but Let's find out and hopefully get it done soon. This took a lot more time than I thought. I didn't think this is gonna be such a big job, but whew, now let's get on this side. Well guys, this turns out a much better than I thought. All here is solid. 
it's just a little rust hole here or we are gonna weld it and then we are ready for painting I'm probably gonna do it like here in black something like that but we're gonna see how it's all gonna look okay let's get it fixed and finally be done with welding Well guys, we did it and now we are done with welding. Oh, it's so good to be done and I just want to show you the other side. I did off the camera, but it was a lot of the same. I cut and weld new piece here, here and a little bit here. And here I got lucky. I just sanded everything and put anti-corrosion and I didn't need to weld anything. And now I need to clean everything and get it getting ready for painting. I also removed the front and the rear bumper if you didn't see. And now I need to clean all this mess that I made here. But yeah, finally we are done with that. For my first time, I think it it was really good, but there's a lot lot room to get better. Now Finally, let's get, let's clean this and start doing prepping for, for paint. I think we protected it good this side is ready for painting I need to do the other side of the camera and then we are painting can wait this is probably the most boring part I really don't like that I need to protect this protect that but you need to do what you need to do so I'm gonna do other side of the camera then we are gonna start painting can wait Well guys, it's time to look up close. I think it's pretty good, but once again, it could be better. Let's give it a look. So I'm gonna talk fast because it's still a smell like paint here. But look at this. I think for the first time it's pretty good. It's now need to dry, it's got a whole night to dry but it looks pretty pretty good Whew. well guys i need to paint the wheel arches but that i'm just gonna show you the end result because it's the more of the same and thank you guys for being here <coughs> still learning on my mistakes Ugh. well guys we're gonna talk later it still smells here so hey guys i'm gonna be honest with you it's been a week since I painted the car and I got it registered and it's a lot lot colder than when I painted the car so I grabbed the Neva, go to woods, get a trailer and get some wood to keep me warm and I forgot I didn't film you the end result so I'm gonna show you now it's a little bit dirty but I'm gonna show you okay guys I think it looks awesome but 
it's a little bit dirty but i think that every neva should look like this and it's so so cool to see her the way it's supposed to be and she is finally road legal i got registered so i'm really done with this car and i just love love how it looks think i did a good job for the first time and guys this is gonna be my last video for this year and i can't wait next year because that niva i hopefully by the end of the next year i'm gonna drive that niva and this is just gonna be my daily drive and i'm gonna use it for work like this but if you own an EVA, you know that you're never done with it. So I need to replace ball joints and I'm gonna show you how. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully nothing else breaks down and I'm just gonna enjoy driving it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.